As Dr. Ethan Choi, Brian T. brings his battlefield skills to the front lines of Chicago's busiest ER on Chicago Med, but even the ER's most skilled doctor can be left speechless by a patient. Take a look. She's in VTech. Charging 200. Ethan. Charge, clear. Max, clear. Max. Clear. Max. Sinus rhythm. Dr. Choi, I mean, okay, so now he's in charge. Um, he is dealing with the stress of his mentor from military life, kind of giving him some drama. And now he's broken things off with April. Um, how, how are you enjoying playing Dr. Choi this season as an actor? Is it stressful for you? Is it as stressful for you as it is for we fans? Yes. If it's, if it's hard for the fans to watch Ethan, especially going through this, because I know he makes a lot of choices and decisions that fans don't like. Trust me, me, Brian T., I don't like them either. But heavy is the crown. And I feel like always with Ethan, his best intentions are to try to do the right thing for the greater good. And I think that's what fans always appreciate about him. I tell you one thing, though, I hope we are in agreement on, and that is, him kicking April to the curb. I felt like Dr. Choi was right in this situation. You know, it's interesting. Even with Ethan's hardest decisions, they're always, I guess, morally correct. Here's what I feel personally. I feel like love is love. And I feel like when you've had a relationship with someone for so long and are that close, love never ends. There's always something there. So is it over for now? Will it continue to be? I don't know. Who's to say? Okay. You've been on this show since the beginning. You were in a restaurant and something went down and you could step in and help out. Do you feel like you could master some of those things? Do you feel like, you know what I mean? Are you picking up some skills? In yeah. yeah. I feel technically I could, I could do the basics like the ABCs and stuff to kind of assess situations, but I'll leave everything else to the professionals. I'll be the first to call 911, raise my hand and say, I'm a pretend doctor that knows absolutely nothing. And I'll leave that to the true professionals and he can come in and save the day. You know, you're very outspoken on your social media and just in life about, you know, what's been going on in this country, um, particularly with Asian Americans. Was there ever a moment where you're like, oh, I can't say that, or I can't say this, or I have to say this? As much as the media wants to amplify particular voices, I feel like the representation is very limited. So I have this sense of responsibility to do so. And I wear it with a badge of honor, to be completely honest. And I feel through our medium, and especially through myself and my role, and as far as our TV show and our network is concerned, that there is a sense of responsibility yet opportunity to really change that particular narrative, especially through a Dr. Choi character who is a positive role model type figure, leading man-esque, but someone that'll be in audiences that aren't necessarily familiar with the AAPI community. And if you can create that education and that understanding, I feel like you bridge certain gaps of fear, right, to hopefully de-amplify all the hate that's happening right now. Well, you can catch the one Chicago shows every Wednesday night on NBC and follow Brian on social media for more info on supporting the AAPI community.